The logo slapping is probably a reference back to, you know, back in the day when I was in sports marketing, we would look at Formula One drivers, and we would look at TV graphics around a sports, and we would see logos festooned all over the, all over the platform. You know, let's move away from the old school of just forcing a product into a platform that has, you know, that, that has no relevance for the brand. Let's get the brand developed into the piece of branded content at script stage, Let's get that brand story told through the script. Let's get the characters to personify that brand. Let's talk about the backstories and social media that connect to that central piece of content, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we're just trying to raise the bar generally with branded entertainment. I see technology as a facilitator to a piece of content. It can amplify the content in, in ways that you could not enjoy it uh, normally through, say, augmented reality. It can allow you to unlock different aspects of the content, backstories, subplots, char character profiles, etc., etc., that you know maybe you can't squeeze into the actual TV program, either for time constraints or for editorial constraints. Um, so, you know, for me, you know, technology plays uh, either an enhancement role or it plays potentially a, a utility role where it can actually serve a very functional purpose for the audience as well. I just love the fact that Spikes has started to recognise branded entertainment as a, as, a, as a modern communications discipline of telling a brand story in a either humorous, dramatic way, whichever. Um, it's growing exponentially fast. The amount of investment into the space is growing 122% over the last three years, 13% last year, up way above what everything else, all the other spend in sports sponsorship and celebrity endorsement and everything else. So it, it's growing like wildfire in Asia. Uh, so it's critical that that is recognized as, a, as one awards category. Um, and you know, equally that, that falls off um, the, the can lines as well. I mean, it, it's obviously now at a global stage, it's now coming down here to Asia. 